Congratulations on your new scleral contact lenses. The exceptional vision and comfort these lenses provide make them a wonderful choice for contact lens wearers with all types of visual needs and corneal health problems. And the easy care and handling make them a great option for lens wearers of all ages. Join us for this short video and we'll take you through the easy steps for applying, removing, and caring for your new scleral contact lenses. We'll also outline some important tips to help keep you safe and on the road to success. Before you handle your contact lenses, it's always important to have good hand hygiene. Wash your hands thoroughly with a mild soap that doesn't contain moisturizers and dry them completely with a clean, lint-free towel. Also, keep fingernails short, filed, and clean. Inspect your eye to make sure it's not unusually red, has secretions, abnormal blurring, or pain. If you experience discomfort with the lens, either on or off, call your doctor to discuss. Even though your contact lenses may have different prescriptions, they may look identical. To avoid mixing them up, get into a routine and always start with the same lens when you apply, remove, or care for them. We'll begin with the right lens. Gently remove the right scleral contact lens from the case by sliding it carefully out of the case. Inspect the lens to make certain there are no chips, cracks, or debris on the surface. You can hold the lens up to the light to see if there's any deposits inside the lens bowl. Deposits may make the lens look white or cloudy. There are several ways to hold a scleral lens for insertion. The technique used will depend on your personal preference. The most common ways to hold the lens for insertion are the tripod or three finger hold, two finger hold, or the different DMV inserters. If your vision is poor, you may cut off the bottom of the DMV inserter with the hole so you can use the light from the hole as a guide when placing it on your eye. Depending on the size of your scleral lens, your eye care provider may have advised you to fill the bowl of the lens with preservative-free, buffer-free saline. Filling the bowl completely is necessary to prevent air bubbles from being caught between the lens and the cornea. Chemical-free saline is necessary to keep the cornea healthy and comfortable since there's minimal fluid exchange under the lens after insertion. When the bowl is filled with saline, it becomes much more prone to tipping over and falling off the finger. To insert the lens, your face must be parallel to the floor with the eye looking at the floor so the fluid will stay in the lens bowl. It may be helpful to place a fixation dot on a mirror which is lying flat on the table. The lens holding method you chose earlier will determine how you place the lens on the eye. It's easier if both eyelids are open wide enough for the lens to be applied directly to the surface of the eye, however it's not necessary. Wet eyelids are difficult to hang on to, so make sure both the lids and your fingers are dry before you begin. To place the lens on the eye, most people prefer to use one hand to hold the eyelids open and the other hand to insert the lens. If you cannot hold both lids open wide enough to get the lens on in one move, concentrate on holding the upper lid open. Once the lid is under the upper lid, pull down on the lower lid to get the lens on the eye. Release the lids and the lens is in place. Simply repeat the process to insert the left lens. Air bubbles will make the lens move on the eye, making the lens uncomfortable. It may also be difficult to see out of the lens. If you can't avoid air bubbles, then it's highly likely that you're unable to maintain fluid in the bowl when inserting or just haven't been filling the bowl with enough fluid. Make sure that your face is fully parallel to the floor as you bring the lens toward your eye. It may seem like you're nearly standing on your head when you're in the correct position to apply the lens. Also, try keeping both eyes open as you apply your lenses. When you close one eye, the other will want to close too. This may also help you to position the lens correctly. Lid control is essential. Make sure the lids are dry and use one hand to hold the lids completely out of the way. Don't release the lids until the lens is actually fully in place and the fingers or plunger have been removed. Be sure and wash your hands before removing lenses. There are two different ways to remove a scleral lens from the eye. It's very important to be sure of where the lens is located in the eye. Remember, to develop a routine, always start with the same lens. We'll remove the right lens first. Begin by looking straight ahead. Be sure the lens is in the eye before attaching the plunger. 
If using a plunger, wet the tip with saline and attach the plunger to the inferior third of the lens. Pull up and out, tilting the lens off the eye. It may be helpful to press in on the eye at the same time to help release the suction. If the suction is not released, it may be difficult to remove the lens. If you're not using a plunger, place your fingers at the eyelid margins right next to your eyelashes. Manipulate the lid so they're on either side of the contact lens and break the seal by pushing one of the lid margins in and under the contact lens edge. And to remove the left lens? That's right, just simply repeat your chosen process to remove the left lens. Applying and removing scleral lenses may be a little tricky at first, but all it takes is a little practice to become an expert. However, there is another element to scleral lens wear that's even more important for your success, caring for your contact lenses. Precisely following your contact lens professional's instructions on how to care for your contact lenses can mean the difference between success and failure. Each step is designed to perform a specific task that will make your contact lens wearing safer and more comfortable. Once your contact lenses are removed, they need to be cleaned to remove mucus, protein, and debris that build up on the lens surface during the day. Place the contact lens in the palm of your hand and apply three to four drops of the cleaning solution recommended by your contact lens professional. Removing this buildup will not only make it easier for you to see clearly through the lenses, it will also make them more comfortable. After placing these drops on the lens, gently rub the lens in a back and forth motion using your index finger. Rinse the cleaner off with an approved rinsing solution, such as saline. The scleral lens now needs to be stored. The solution that fills the case is designed to wet and disinfect the surface of the lens, keeping your lenses comfortable and safe. It's imperative that fresh solution is used each and every time the scleral lens is stored. Using old solution, or topping off the solution, can create an environment that's teeming with bacteria. And you don't want your contact lenses swimming with bacteria. After filling the case with fresh conditioning or wetting solution, simply place the right lens in the side labeled R and place the left lens in the other side. Now you can store your scleral lenses overnight and they'll be ready to wear the next day. The case itself can be the source of bacteria, so it needs to be cared for as well. After removing your scleral lenses from the case, rinse the case with your conditioning solution. Wipe the case with a clean, dry tissue and store it upside down with the caps off. Taking proper care of your scleral lenses is easy, and by following some simple guidelines, you can stay steadily on the path to success. Make certain to always wash and dry your hands prior to handling your contact lenses. Always use fresh solution in the case and never top off or reuse solution. To avoid contaminating the bottle, be careful to not touch the tip of the bottle with the solution in the case. Remember, your case can harbor bacteria, so rinse it daily and allow it to air dry between uses. Only use the solutions recommended by your contact lens professional. If you need to or want to change solutions, be sure to discuss it with them first. Not all solutions are approved for all types of contact lenses. Some solutions require additional rinses after the disinfection process, so make certain to read and carefully follow all of the care instructions. Your contact lens professional has determined the best wearing schedule for you and your eyes and has prescribed a specific material designed for your needs. Follow the wearing schedule outlined by your contact lens professional and never wear your contact lenses longer than recommended. While scleral contact lens wear is extremely safe, sometimes a problem can occur. If you notice a change in your vision, remove your contact lenses and call your contact lens professional's office immediately. They'll guide you on your next steps. Congratulations on becoming a new scleral contact lens wearer. By following the simple tips in this video, we're certain you'll have a successful lens wearing experience with scleral contact lenses.